they can't stay indoors and because they can't see their friends and i'm like so if you can't stay by yourself then who do you want to come and stay with me you want to come and live in my house it can't happen <sighs> people are going crazy let's just be honest how are you guys dealing with self-isolation oh my god did we even think that this time was gonna come Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behene. I have a little situation on my lip. First of all, let me address that. I have a little situation on my lip and it's because of change of environment, change of where transitioning into spring and all of that is, is a lot. All right. So let's overlook this part of my face and let's just get into the video don't look at this part of my face do not look at it i just really needed to talk so in this video i'm just gonna be talking all right and everything that's going on <laughs> so also i wanted to share a few things that i've been doing for during this self-isolation period so maybe this video is like a few things that you can do during this self-isolation period so you don't go mad because let's be honest a lot of people are going crazy <sighs> oh so this morning i woke up did my my whole routine and everything and i figured that i'll do this video so i'm just going to be doing matter of fact every product that since it's like a get ready with me type video every product that i will use will be in the description box down below but i just wanted to share with you guys a few things that i have been doing that has been helping me stay sane i won't stay safe i won't say stay sane precisely because for the most part of my life i'm home anyways creating content so this is for like people who cannot just deal with this whole thing and you can't actually mention it because at this point youtube is blocking every video that has that content in it so in this video we're just gonna call her missus or missy little new missy the new visitor that we have that has decided to take over our space and just put people in so much we don't even know what to do so first of all comment below how are you dealing with the whole coronavirus thing because to be honest <laughs> social media i get i think i get the fact that you don't feel you don't feel like you're actually doing self-isolation when you're home by yourself till you have someone tell you to do it i feel like that's the reason why we are seeing that oh like this is you know sometimes you're just home by yourself no self-isolation but you, you just decide to be indoors and not go anywhere so i honestly I just feel like it's because it's because someone has told us that oh, it's because someone has told us that we should stay indoors that's why we feel like this is so difficult to do but on a regular i think that this is something that every human being that's like every now and then except if i don't know i don't know which kind of person you are if you don't ever decide that you know what for these like for this day or for these few days i just want to be by myself and then just like evaluate my life and just just be by myself you know like i feel like it's a very normal thing I, for me at least like this is a very normal thing i always i feel like i always go into hibernation mode when i need to figure a few things out but today i just wanted to hop on here to share with you guys a few things that i've been doing that has honestly been very helpful and has made me like very sane throughout all this process because honestly the news and everything that is being showed on social media and stuff is a lot and it just it just puts this amount of fear in us let's just be honest let's just be honest it puts some amount of fear in us but i think i've come to realize and tell myself that the news will always always and take this from me i am a professional i'm a professional radio personality and i went to news school so i'm telling you this for a fact that bad news is the best news for 
every media house let me just let that out bad news is viral news we want something that will sell that's what media houses do so they can have good news and bad news but they will give out the news that will get people like really buzzing good news will just get lost within like a very short period of time but bad news usually lasts for a long time and have people like talking and brings in the numbers so usually all these like media houses and stuff they propagate news just to just for the numbers so that's why even all these celebrities social media influencers majority of them just will put out news just because they want to get the views and they want to get the likes and stuff so i've realized that social media and what we are looking at we're watching on the news is also causing a lot of like fear and panic in people which is not a good thing it's not a, it's not the way forward because already the situation at hand is like making us scared the situation at, at hand is making people like freak out a lot so i feel like the news should just take it easy but also they have to tell people what is going on so it's just like a two-way thing very very hard to dissect at this point i'm just gonna get into the few things the first thing that i have i actually have a whole list of things that i'm i do or things that i wanted to talk about with you guys and then the first thing that i have here is get to know yourself this is the period where you have to get to know yourself and like quarantine yourself even if you're not sick quarantine your own self get to know yourself ask yourself questions what like why am i really here i ask myself that a lot of times i mean every now and then i find myself asking myself or talking to myself and asking myself like why am i here why am i doing this is this really something that i want to do like is everything that i'm doing aligning with my soul's higher purpose because whether you like it or not we're all here for some reason like we're all here for you are here for a different reason i am here for a different reason so we all need to like know and i feel like knowing that makes life even easy but you can't you, you can never really know what you're here for but you can find you can ask questions you can know more about yourself like you can know what you like you can know the things that makes you happy and trust me when you come to that realization when you make up your mind that you want to get to know yourself you want to like find what your soul's higher purpose is it will come around like i don't know how to put it but the universe will just bring it around it will just start bringing you thoughts like that it will just start attracting things like that into your way things that is making you know why you're here ask just making you ask more questions and finding out what exactly you're supposed to be doing in this world if you're on the right path because me i've been asking and not just me i mean me and my husband were always like making sure and asking questions to nobody in particular we're just asking we're just constantly asking the universe to make sure and i mean like to just show us and make sure that we're on the right path we never want to be on the wrong path but as human beings you can't always be right you can't always be perfect you can't always like i say my favorite thing to say you can't always have it all figured out so but you can ask you can push you can pursue so for me this is the right time where you haven't called off work they haven't laid you off work because you did something like you haven't done any wrong thing they just said stay at home it might be hard financial when it comes to finances and stuff i know it will be hard but this i before i even started recording this the first thing that i wanted to say is that this too shall pass i feel like that should even be the title of this video because really this too shall pass do you remember all the other sicknesses that have come and just like they they all pass like we dealt with everything we deal with everything as humans in the in the spur of the moment they look like we can't do it oh this is too difficult oh my god when is this gonna go away it is gonna go away this will pass and we will we won't even be talking about it we won't even be thinking about it as we're thinking about it right now 
you know what i mean this too first of all i just want to lay that out there i just want to let you guys know that's the first thing that i want to say this too shall pass so if you're there like you're afraid you're confused you don't know what's the next move really what's gonna happen like i don't know what's gonna happen that's honestly what i'm gonna tell you but i know for a fact that this is gonna pass. this is just a phase in life that we're all going through as a collective and after just after a period of time it will pass we will have we'll be dealing with another thing trust me maybe another another even bigger thing that this will, will be the i mean this will be very little when it comes to trouble that we'll be dealing with in a few years to come i'm not saying that we will but i'm just saying that this might even be small as compared to what we will deal with we will deal with as people in maybe a few years to come so first of all this shall pass <clears throat> which brings me to my next point my next point which uh, my next point which is start a goal start a business start something just start something during this period if you don't have a business an at home business or anything a passion anything just search into yourself ask yourself like what do i want to do like what business do i want to start if it's a youtube channel start a youtube channel this is the best time to actually start a youtube channel because this is the best time that you, you can actually market your channel and have people watch your videos so if you want to start a youtube channel this is the best time start a channel start a business whatever business that you have this is the time that you have free from the world the whole world you know like the government is asking us to just be at home so this is the best time that we can actually do every goal or every goal that we have set for ourselves. This is the best time that we can bring it into fruition. So my next point would definitely be start, start a business, start a craft, a, a DIY business, anything that you want to do, any passion that anything that you've been thinking about for a period of time. Like I really want to do this thing. Like, I really want to try to do this thing, you know, do it. This is the best time to do it. My third point would be learn how to make something new. If you don't have a passion, if you don't have a drive, nothing, learn how to make something new. Find a new craft, like something that excites you. You can just go onto YouTube. There are a lot of videos on YouTube right now, like a lot of tutorials, literally everything. You'll find it on the internet. How to do everything that you want. Everything that you need to know how to learn or you need to learn how to do, you'll find it on YouTube. So find yourself a craft. If it's a cooking, a cooking recipe, you know, like a new recipe that you want to try, I got a recipe book recently with kitchen hacks and like new recipes like I love to be in the kitchen so that was definitely something that I was gonna do anyways <laughs> quarantine or no quarantine but I feel like it's a, it's a it's something nice that you can do during this period since you have free time you can definitely try new recipes learn a new language do like do some new stuff just do new stuff go out of your comfort zone try new things try new things so my next my next my <laughs> next point or my next thing would be to create a create a 30 days a 30 day habit let me put it that way a 30 day habit don't be scared i didn't say that the lockdown was going to last for a whole 30 days period but it might last for a 30 day period because schools here have been closed indefinitely and they're looking at closing schools till the end of the year which is way over 30 days so if you create a 30 days like a 30 days routine like or like a 30 days habit that you want to track it will be very helpful i currently i'm doing a 30 days workout challenge like a fitness challenge because we don't get to go to the gym any longer so the best way to go about it is work out at home so if you can work out at home then you can definitely create a challenge for yourself at home i can link a few videos down below so that you guys could use it if you need like workout videos to do at home but 
create a, a 30 day challenge if it's a reading challenge a anything that you want to do like learn a language in a new language in 30 days you know meditation manifestation learn a new recipe whatever you want to do as far as you time yourself and decide to go according to the rules of the of the 30 days challenge or whatever you're going to do then that's that's the like that's the best so at the end of the 30 days you'll be able to examine if this is something that you actually loved doing you recap the process and see if it was something that was helpful what you got from it and then at the end of the day you will actually see that the, you will come to a realization that there, th there were things that you actually could have done all this while but you were concentrating on so many things so take advantage of this self-isolation period and just get like get a habit tracker i will leave also i don't know i don't know but you, you guys can go on pinterest and search for that's what i do i go for i go on pinterest and then i search for habit trackers like habit tracker printable habit tracker that i can just print out and then just like clip it to my studio area just so that every morning i'm able to see and when i wake up so like i said i'm currently doing a 30 days fitness fitness challenge with chloe chloe ting she is a workout person on youtube and i'm also tracking my habits my daily habits like i've just been on top of my game when it comes to self-care and just i work very i'm very efficient as a person when i work under a routine or when i work with a routine so that's what i'm doing right now so build a routine for yourself get to know yourself find out the things that you like to do the things that makes your morning or your day peaceful the things that give you a suppressing peace and moving on to my next point which will be learn how to stay by yourself alone i feel like the people who are having difficulties in this self-isolation and complaining about the fact that they can't stay indoors and because they can't see their friends and i'm like so if you can't stay by yourself then who do you want to come and stay with me who wants to come and live in my house it can't happen you know <laughs> i'm just kidding but i feel like for me that was the biggest thing i learned how to live by myself before i could live with anyone else because my biggest fear you know like I had so much fear when I went to second secondary school after secondary school and all of that stuff. So I had to deal with a lot of things on my own. And as you guys know, I lost my mom when right after I got out of secondary school. So for me, dealing with life has always been by myself. Like dealing with all life problems till I got married or till I met my husband. A lot of things I have had to do by myself. A lot of things I had had to fight for by myself so for me it's not anything new so i feel like if you can if you're complaining about the fact that self-isolation and you you can't just be by yourself and you don't know how to be by yourself how can you just you know then that's a problem that's a question for me that's questionable because if you can't be by yourself then what do you want to do that's that's scary that's that's scary for the universe you know we need to find i feel like that's the first step in all of this first of all you need to find a way to be by yourself you need to find a way to be comfortable by yourself alone and not find it boring because immediately when you find it boring then i'm gonna start questioning it questioning it so first of all find a way in the spirit if you don't know yourself find a way to know yourself get to know yourself have a one like maybe mirror talk with yourself if you don't do it mirror talk with yourself ask yourself questions you know be comfortable by yourself if it would deserve a bottle of wine to get through during that process get yourself a bottle of wine sit by yourself and make sure that you're okay by yourself that way it's easy for you to open up to anyone else who comes into your space that way it's easy for you to be able to take in people into your space and not think that the people are taking too much from your life do you get what i mean so yeah okay guys so i finished the eye look my eye looks are very spontaneous i don't plan them i don't i just sit here and do any eye look that comes to mind any colors that i feel like will marry good I put them together and then I'm good to go. So I finished my eye look. I'm gonna do the rest of my face. And it takes me to my last 
my last point the last thing that you can do in this i don't know if i've already said it but the last thing that you can definitely do is to relax and meditate and manifest that's a lot that's the one thing that i've been doing a lot during this period like that's the one thing that will actually help you stay sane in these times meditation and just like finding the calm amidst all of these these things that are going on you know there's one meditation and yoga meditation definitely and yoga i have been doing a lot of yoga i don't know if you guys watched my wellness morning routine but i work out i do yoga just to make sure that my morning my morning goes well all of this is a part of my morning routine majority of the stuff that i'm talking about also another thing that i've started doing is coloring so if you didn't know adults have their own coloring books i didn't even know so let me pull it out first of all recently i recently just came across this it's called the relaxing mandals coloring book It's a relaxing mandals coloring book color your way color your way to happiness and harmony this is how it looks like and so it comes with patterns that you can color just different 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 shapes and styles or whatever and colors and it also comes with quotes and like affirmative words that you can read out to yourself whilst you're doing the coloring and this is a form of meditation and this is a form of manifesting this is a form of relaxation it's a stress relief i cannot emphasize how much this relaxing mandals has helped me deal with anxiety whenever i feel like so i have two things that i used to deal with anxiety i have a i think this is an amethyst if i'm right if i am right but i have an amethyst crystal it's just like a purple crystal that whenever i feel anxious whenever i feel like even when i'm about to film my videos and i feel like oh there's just so much energies in play i'm just feeling very anxious i hold this in like my right hand left hand whatever handed person you are i just hold this and do breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out like three four times and it just releases the energy releases the anxiety all into this stone or this crystal so this crystal becomes like a receiver for everything that every anxious feelings that i have so this stuff is very good if you're into if you're into energy work and like like readings and stuff like this then this is something that you love to do like myself i love to do this thing whenever i feel like i'm bored one and it's making my mind go on to things that i don't need to think about the relaxing mandals is my home safe haven and when i'm dealing with like on the spot anxiety like like on the spot anxiety like going for an interview like you know just talking to someone for the first time or approaching an issue that you feel so anxious about and then i hold this amethyst crystal right here if it's not an amethyst i'll put the right name on the screen so that i don't act like i know some name that i'm just saying you know but it's one of the crystals for for healing and reiki and stuff so i just hold this and this stuff is good i keep it in my pocket i sleep with it it's strong it helps me be very grounded so i will link these two things in the description box below in case you want to buy or check it out because it's been very helpful during this period not just during this period i've been dealing with anxiety about a lot of other things not just not just the pandemic period so it helps with a lot of situations so this is definitely something that i will recommend one of the one of my most important my most important recommendations is definitely these two things they've been very <laughs> they've been very helpful like they've been very helpful so i'm the plug all right i got you i told you guys that i got you anytime any day any situation i do i do 
I'm gonna set my face and maybe finish off the rest of my face and come back <sighs> yeah I think I should do that all right guys so this is the finished look how do you guys see the look I mean what do you think about the look if you like it comment below but I just quickly wanted to say that let's stay safe first of all I feel like that's the major thing stay safe if you're infected or not infected stay safe anyway anyhow just stay safe and also <clears throat> let's try to do things that will help us take our mind off the situation at hand i think i feel like that's the only way that you can be okay in this period that's why i came here to give you guys like a few things that you could do just to help you de-stress and get your mind off the whole situation at hand so i feel like this is the best time that you can do things that takes your mind off stress anxiety and just everything that takes your mind onto the situation at hand just stop if it's the news i mean you can watch the news once a day but let's try as much as possible to put us first and our interests first so do things that makes you happy open a youtube start a youtube channel i don't know start like do a new recipe in your kitchen just start something new start a, a new habit that you can track that you'll be proud of at the end of the day because at the end of the day for me i know that i'm going to lose so much belly weight and i'm going to look back and see it as like an achievement instead of just like as a pandemic you know so take advantage of the isolation period and just do something for yourself do something that will make your soul happy so this is what we were able to come up with at the end of the whole get ready with me which is really good because this whole pandemic has got us bringing up bringing out like all our old techniques i've never done eyeliner in a long time i haven't done eyeliner in the longest time i don't remember the last time i decided to do i felt like but i think i remember why i used to do eyeliner because it looks really bomb on me maybe i should just get back to doing eyeliner i'll leave all the products in the description box below in case you're wondering or in case someone will be looking for what products i used where and please stay safe stay sane don't let anxiety and stress take the best part of your life and if you also want to check out the coloring mandals and then my crystal they will be in the description box a link will be in the description box below so let's stay safe let's stay pandemic free i guess <laughs> i don't know but let's stay safe out there thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a huge thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already done that Mwah. love you love you <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you bye i'll see you guys in my next video my name is akusia behe